We've got this breaking news just minutes ago. Chipmaker Micron Technology broke some major news. The memory chipmaker will plow $3 billion into its Virginia plant, one of the biggest investments in Virginia state history. The ramp up in production of chips used for pretty much everything from drones to the Internet of Things to smart cars will lead to the creation of more than 1,100 high paying tech jobs. Let's go live to that Micron plant in Manassas, Virginia, where CEO Sanjay Marotra just made the announcement. Uh, first of all, congratulations. A $3 billion investment by 2030. Sanjay, what about the new jobs? When can we expect to see the hiring begin? Well, actually, the hiring will begin uh, pretty much right away, Liz. Um, the new uh, clean room that we are building here to deploy uh, more advanced technologies and transition our current production to those technologies for the future. That clean room will complete construction in 2020, and we'll start ramping production in that room in that time in that new clean room in that time frame. But the new jobs will begin now. And over the course of next 10 years or so, we'll be adding another 1,100 of highly skilled workers here in Manassas, Virginia. We are very proud of this site. We have been here for over 15 years, mm -hmm. and this site has enabled us to build our global leadership to address fast memory and storage requirements for our customers in automotive and industrial space. Right. And, and just so that our viewers are clear, because uh, we don't assume they understand everything about technology. You know, uh, what you make are these chips that uh, that give the ability to store and retrieve information for everything from computers to smartphones to all the technology that we're now using. Tell me about the paying of these jobs. These seem to be higher quality, better paying jobs. Right. And, and do they come with benefits? Absolutely. I mean, these, of course, come with all the benefits that we offer our uh, team members and, you know, good benefits. But these are jobs that require skilled workforce and technically trained workforce, uh, technicians, as well as a lot of engineers that will be required here to really build state-of-the-art manufacturing of semiconductor chips, the DRAM and flash memory chips, which really are used not only to store and retrieve data, but right. DRAM chips are also used to process data fast. So think of the automobiles of the future. They'll be like data center on wheels. They will be requiring a lot of data that will have to be processed fast oh, yes. in order to make for a safe driving experience on the roads, right? So that's where we fit in. I mean, in automotive and industrial applications, it's very exciting growth segment, one of the fastest growing segments within the semiconductor industry. Yeah. In fact, it almost feels like we're all driving around in smartphones because they've become technology instruments. You know, we've got this ongoing trade war with China. Uh, the president just spoke and said, he said, I had to do something. And, and much of that has to do with the, the, the stolen IP, the intellectual property. And, and you above anybody understand how dangerous the Chinese can be. And for those who don't know, there was this pretty much an outright heist of your elect intellectual property that later showed up in the hands of a brand new Chinese chip maker. How much of this ramp up in Virginia, in the U.S., is a hedge against China and that trade battle? Uh, this um, investment in Virginia to expand our clean room space and to enable us to deploy future advanced technologies for automotive and industrial is really part of our strategy of building centers of excellence. The center here in Virginia, which has been really uh, serving us extremely well toward number one global market share leadership in auto automotive, it, it, its core expertise that has been built over the years really has provided us the momentum to expand here. So I, I get this that. is really about centers of excellence. This center, yes. I get that. And uh, we Sanjay, have centers but, of excellence but, uh, all around the world. It for is different very parts of much a reality that there is this major dispute. And now it appears that the Chinese government, I mean, this is nervy, they're, they're banning some of your chips uh, in, in China, and you get 50% of your revenue or so from China sales. Uh, I just want to know, have you been served an injunction yet in that part of the case? Because, I mean, this is really an outrage when it comes to whether they've got a case against you, but have you been served an injunction? So some time ago, we had announced that the, uh, the court in Fuzhou province within China yes. had served a preliminary injunction for a small amount of our products. These products represent approximately 1% of Micron's 
global revenue. What is important is that uh, you know, we absolutely defend our intellectual property. Absolutely. We do not believe that Micron is uh, infringing any patents, and in fact, we do not believe that those patents are valid either. And of course, we are pursuing all means within China as well as uh, over here in terms of really addressing this issue and making sure that we get a fair treatment in the court processes in China. Well, good luck with that. I'm not sure you, you will because very few American companies do. But Sanjay, lovely to have you. Big announcement out of Virginia today. Thank you so much.